place. What I'm going to do is give a schematic or an overview of what's going to happen. And then it will happen. So all of our expectations will be satisfied. <laughs> the overview is first I'm going to thank Samantha Giles and Small Business Traffic. Then I will do some introductory remarks. Then there will be our readers. If you are a reader, pay attention to this because it has to do with you. So it will be inherently interesting to you. Um, our readers in order will read for three, three minutes of their own work. Then they will say the name of the other person in the anthology whose work they're going to read for another three minutes. They go over, now all the audience knows how long they're supposed to read. <laughs> then they will say the name of the person who reads after them, thus signaling to the next reader that it is their turn. I'm going to repeat these so we all have a chance to understand them. So this is the order of the readers. Dodie Bellamy's first. Norma Cole is second. So Dodie will say Norma Cole at the end. <laughs> After Norma Cole is Jen Carmen. After Jen Carmen will be Laura Moriarty as read by Samantha Giles. After Laura Moriarty as read by Samantha Giles will be Anna Morrison. After Yetta Morrison will be Catherine Pringle. After Catherine Pringle may or may not be Giovanni Singleton, depending on whether she arrives. <laughs> After may or may not be Giovanni Singleton, depending on whether she arrives, is Juliana Spar. After Juliana Spar will be Christine Wertheim, and then you will all be free to go. Wait, Oh, Francis Richard, I'm sorry. <laughs> all right, you are after Catherine Pringle, and my list is in. Alright, Captain Pringle, after you, say Francis Richard. Then we will have our readers. Dodie Bellamy will be first. Then Norma Cole. After each reader reads three minutes of their work, they'll announce the work of the person who they're going to read in three minutes. Dodie Bellamy, Norma Cole, then Jen Carmen, then Laura Moriarty, as read by Samantha Giles, then Yet Morrison, then Catherine Pringle, then Francis Richard, then may or may not be Giovanni Singleton, then Juliana Spark, and finally Christy Morton. I'd like to thank Samantha Giles and Small Press Traffic for hosting <laughs> the event. It is swell to be here, and we will all be the richer for it. <laughs> <laughs> Introductory remarks. Well, just wait a minute in case people are coming from the elevator. Welcome to the show, the last weekend of the show, so you're really very lucky. We're really very lucky to have this show, and I'm excited to tell you some things about it. The uniqueness of the work is in its lack of uniqueness. The negativity. It exists as a mode of textual appropriation, a process of shadowing and transference. Keep in mind that I'm an artist, and I'm sensitive about my shit. <laughs> I mean, look at them. You really get a full feel, a full dose of Walker Evans' passion. They are just filled with so much emotion of what was going on at the time. And then you have to ask yourself, do we look at these differently because they're done now by a female rather than a male? While looking at the work of women in this collection, it is evident that in conceptual writing, methodologies do not dictate or predict the writing that follows, nor is methodology the only indicator of conceptual writing. For instance, conceptual methods paired with psychoanalytic 
and specifically feminine investigations, have proved an ideal combination to seek out the somatic, cognitive, and symbolic bases for language and gender development. When I look at these things, there is no date, doubt that in each of these rooms there is a reference to minimalism, which was a movement that was considered a male club. It was a male club. And the weight of minimalism is really on her shoulders. By and large, the artist persona found itself neither intercepted nor sabotaged by conceptualist methodologies. Consider the phrase artistship. By the way, see that painting over there? Doesn't it just pop there? Doesn't it just hold its own? I think it's because of the colors. Those are really her colors. Firstly, there's the road of engaged disengagement. Je voulais parler la belle langue de mon siècle. I wanted to speak the beautiful language of my century. Secondly, there's the root of engaged disengagement. Si je voulais parler la belle langue de mon siècle, if I wanted to speak the beautiful language of my century. The list value is what increases in the traffic. The elephant is the elephant. So you see there's a little bit of that tongue in cheek. She has a wonderful sense of humor. Looking for a little in this collection, I turned first to the work of Bernadette Mayer and found in her collection the desires of mothers to please others in letters the title all throughout my book. Others have each in turn examined, mimicked, and reenacted the iconic representations of power structures. She installed the entire show herself, so there's the grid that echoes the ceiling of the Brewer building there, but then the other thing she did, which I think is just terrific, she picked the color of these walls from a hazy color because she wants to see these works in relation. There's so many references here. How does one acknowledge social invisibilities within questions of authorial openness? The balancing act remains difficult. As I have noted elsewhere, citation is always castration. The author's lack of authority may manifest by the phallus presence of another authority. What better way to play the gendered part like this? Well, I have to tell you what she says is, well, she's making a statement about, well, she never says what it's about, but certainly there's something said about the art world. Thinking and performance are not separate from process and presentation of works. So they're never getting the bride now, no way. Some of them are really very feminine. And in the next room, what we're going to see is an installation that's really a dreamscape of the mind. I forget what it is in French, but when it's in a sculpture like this, it looks so, so feminine. This anthology is not intended to cement, but intended to collect, to document, to pry open the term conceptual for a deeper examination. One is not oneself. One is not the self. One's speech is that of others. L'éléphant n'existe pas. It is so important for the internet generation that gave us a whole new way of looking at these images. She's saying to us, look how relevant my work is now. So why anthology of conceptual writing by women? Well, these are probably my personal favorites, which I'm not supposed to say. Don't you